What is going guys? My name is Wall Sickness and welcome everybody to another video. So today I'm going to be talking to you about my streaming settings. So this is an updated one for 2021. So let's get straight into it and stop staring at my duck. So first of all, obviously we've just got to drag OBS onto this monitor over here. And as you can see, basically OBS is here. But as we're streaming, we're going to have to go straight into settings down there. So, first of all, general tab, honestly, you don't really need to do much, honestly. Uh, all I changed really was the theme, and then you can just scroll down just in case the settings are like a tiny bit different. But I have changed literally nothing apart from the theme, just because Acre looks really nice. Next one, stream. Obviously, you've got to connect your account. So, I use the stream key right now. I'm not going to show it. Otherwise, like, you guys might be able to stream to my account. But, yeah, choose what service you've got. I chose YouTube as I stream to YouTube. I used to stream to Twitch. But, no matter where you stream, do your service there. Now, let's go to the output tab so this is the most important tab there is for this tutorial so make sure you are on the streaming tab just as we are right up there and then obviously this dumb stuff is blacked out right now and like darkened off because i am currently recording and you can't change settings while you're actually streaming or recording so for audio track i did number one as you cannot stream in multiple audio tracks like you can in recording just set it to number one and make sure everything is playing through that track. So the next one is encoder. So I use X264. The reason behind this is because it's slightly better quality than NVENC when streaming at lower bit rates. For example, streaming, you can really go up to me. Well, if you're on Twitch, 6,000, but YouTube, maybe 50,000. Obviously, that's a lot. But compared to video, you can literally stream at like... 200 billion freaking trillion bit rate like it doesn't matter when you're recording because obviously file size you edit it and stuff but when you're streaming it's based on your internet so the better cpu you got the better i'd recommend x264 but if you cannot handle that while streaming and gaming at the same time on one pc then i would say just use nvenc but 10 series is basically like x264 very fast and the 20 series and above, even if you've got 30 series or 16 series, then I would say it's in between fast and medium. But still, if you've got the opportunity to use X264, 100% use that. So the next one, rescale output. Do not touch that. We'll touch that into the video tab right there. So rate control, always keep that to VBR just to make sure there is like a stable bit rate going to it. Because let's say if you do a variable bit rate, yes, you can do that. But basically your video quality will be absolutely shocking because one minute it could be 400 bit rate and the next it could be 8,000 bit rate. Like it fluctuates that much. So I get my bit rate to 12,000. Reason behind this is because I do 1080p 60 frames per second. My upload speed is in between 16 and 17 megabytes a second. But I do not want to max that out. Otherwise, I'm going to lag in my video games. Once, uh, well, used to, I used to stream in 15,250 bit rate. And basically, any video game that I played, I lagged to put you in. As soon as I changed it to 12,000, it fixed everything. So make sure that you're, you, you're leaving at least like a megabyte free. But I like to leave a couple megabytes it's just in case like for example if my mum is uploading a facebook photo or something otherwise that would use all a bit rate and then it's going to lag my stream key frame interval so on most platforms for example youtube and twitch they do tell you to set a keyframe interval to two honestly i could not tell you what it does but just follow their guidelines and you'll be supported on their platform. CPU usage preset higher equals less CPU, but obviously the higher it is, then the worse quality is. So as you can see, I use medium as I was describing earlier. It will make sure you got the best quality. Honestly, if you want to see what quality I can get, obviously there is YouTube compression and all that, but literally just go onto my channel and you'll see like all different gameplays and everything. And that is what it's like. At the end of this video, I will put some gameplay on screen and show you what the quality you'll get from your streams so profile main i keep that to main because basically it's supported on all devices for example if you've got a newer phone a new pc an older pc or a older phone because i think if you do high um then basically 
if you're using like a Galaxy S3 or a phone made like maybe in like 2012 or something, your video will be lagging to poo on their device. Tune, make sure that's none and X264 options unless you know what you're doing. You can change those if you want, but as long as you know what you're doing because it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Audio, I just keep this. Obviously, it's depending what your audio setup is, but make sure your sample rate is 48 kilohertz. I have disabled two audio uh, desktop tracks. So how I do my audio, obviously my mic in Elgato Wave 3, that is what I'm currently talking through. The line in Realtek Audio, that is what my gaming PC goes through. And Wavelength Stream, that's what all my other audio goes through. For example, my music and my Discord. You can change other stuff if you want, but yeah, all I have changed is the global audio devices. Next one, we go to the video tab. So, um, base canvas resolution, basically whatever your monitor is, make sure that is it. Uh, my monitor is 1080p on my streaming PC as I have a dual PC setup. So that is why I keep it to 1920 by 1080. Uh, but my output scaled resolution is 1920 by 1080 as well because I stream on YouTube, so they allow a higher bit rate. But if you're streaming on Twitch, let's say I would recommend 720p and a 6000 bit rate. The reason behind that is because obviously you can't use 12,000 bit rate on Twitch. Even some partners can't even get 12,000 bit rate. There is a bit rate cap, but on YouTube, basically you have unlimited bit rate no matter like what your internet speed is. So downscale filter, make sure that's on Bicubic 16 samples. I used to use 36 samples, but then I did some tests and actually the Bicubic 16 samples looks a lot better. Common FPS values, honestly, it really depends on what kind of gameplay you're doing and what kind of internet, for example. If you've got 2,500 bit rate, then 30 FPS. But if you got, like, and this is at 720p, if anything over 4,000 bit rate, then you can try at 60 FPS. But obviously, just do some tests, see what quality is like, and see if your PC can handle it as well. 60 fps does look a lot nicer though now go to your hotkeys i haven't done anything as i use everything on my stream deck but honestly on my stream deck i literally have two sources and it's just for my game and my face so next one we're going to go to advanced if you're struggling to run obs make sure to change your process priority and run it as admin um honestly there isn't much else in advance i make basically just leave everything else to default um automatically reconnect that's really a good one so if you enable that then basically it tries 20 times if your internet goes down every 10 seconds so that is 20 times 10 seconds whatever that maths is so that's 200 seconds and then that into minutes but yeah, that's about it, as you can see. So as you can see, this is what my OBS looks like. We're just going to go here and say, hi, this is me. And then PC gaming, as you can see, I'm downloading the Division 2. But yeah, guys, now we're going to just switch over to some gameplay so you can actually see what exactly the quality is like for the stream. But yeah, that is about it. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I've been using OBS since about 2013, so I do know what I'm talking about. So if you do have any questions or anything, just please let me know down below in the comment section and leave your CPU, your graphics card and your RAM. And if you are lagging in your stream, then make sure to run OBS as admin. But yes, as I did say, guys, thank Thank you so much guys for watching my name is Will Signals. you guys have been absolutely awesome i just realized this would be uploading in 2022 so this will be a 2022 guide but yeah thank you everybody so much for watching my name is Will Signals. you guys have been absolutely awesome am i talking too quick for you guys make sure to do all the youtube stuff like comment subscribe and make sure to dab on my haters have a good one guys see you later